Guess looking at my, my big white bore of to-do games, and I'm like, now I'll finally have a chance to do it, now that it's January, and then I see the game schedule of things coming out, I'm like, ah, For shit. For February, <laughs> it's like, uh -huh. aha. Yeah. Not even February, in two days, uh, Yakuza 0 and Resident Evil 7 came out the same day. <laughs> I'm like, I, oh. <laughs> yeah, I won't be covering either of those. Ooh. I've heard great things about Yakuza for so long that I want to play one. Okay, do you know how long this Resident one has Evil like a 7 is supposed This one has to like be? a 90 on Metacritic. I have no idea how long 7 is. Okay. Because I was like, I'm going to be at Stainless's place, and he's pretty renowned. Sort of, I don't know. He sucks at horror games. It's like, I wonder if we could just suck <laughs> him into just playing a horror game. Maybe. Like, the evening. Oh, I want to pit Sword day. 5 at the tournament, apparently. Yep. The, uh... So, I've... I've never played Resident Evil before in the past. The early, the earlier ones, I mean. But I imagine that they were mostly 10-hour games. Uh, Resident Evil 6 was a 20-hour game, but that's because I had four campaigns. That was the one that we kind of, sort of started? We played a couple levels of it. Yeah. That, that's the... That's the fascinatingly problematic one. Yeah. That's, yeah, it's four separate campaigns, and each campaign is about four or five hours long. I've heard Resident Evil 5 was only five hours long. Wow. I never actually played through it, because I got, I played through the first level, and I, and I hit the first chainsaw guy that instant kills you and had to restart the entire level, and then I realized I wasn't having fun. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, Shell and one of our friends tried playing, um tried playing Resident Evil 5 together and they couldn't get past the inventory management. Like, they couldn't figure out how to pull out a gun and they got killed. It was great. Yay. Fun times for all. Okay. Let's see, will I be switching up my team for this? Uh... I could... But yeah, so basically I have no idea how long the game will be. <laughs> yeah, because if it was short-ish, I'd consider doing it with Stainless. But... I'd... We'd be better off just playing Crawl and shit. That game is fun, and it really desperately needs online multiplayer. And holy crap, that game's been in early access for multiple years now. Now that oh, I yeah. think about it. Like most early access games. Looks like their first Resident Evil was 7 hours long. 4 was 16. 5 was 12. Revelations 2 was 10. Resident Evil 6 is 22. Evil 0 is 9. Resident Evil 2 is five and a half, three is six and a half. Veronica X is 12 hours. Oh yeah, I so forgot the they had a bunch of those like weird side ones for a while. So if you ignore six, they have a long legacy of making six to 12 hour games basically. Not terrible, but that would be hard to do. But and who knows how seven will be. Yeah. Six is the most recent example. <laughs> I almost get the feeling 7 is going to be much shorter, but possibly the best experience. Problem was we have no, unless I've missed major releases, uh, reveals, because I've admittedly ignored old, old gaming events for like the last six months practically, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But everything that was originally released about Resident Evil 7 basically gives us nothing to work with, as far as it, it, trying to guess how long it might be. Yeah. It just strikes me as the kind of thing that was very focused on atmosphere and, you know, ambiance as opposed to, uh, you know, a lengthy gameplay experience. But, I don't know. It doesn't matter. That's the weird thing, is that, like, Alien Isolation is all about atmosphere, but it's 20 hours long. Yeah, I don't so get long. that. That game is so big. It just keeps going and going. It all comes down to how the game's structured and what they do with their time and their levels and everything, and you never know that till it comes out, unfortunately. And we have, and we know less than ever before because this is their attempt at revitalizing the franchise by completely changing it again. So we don't even have pre-existing evidence to base things on. Yep.
People can't even agree on whether or not they think the first person demo thing is representative of the game in any in any real capacity. Oh yeah. It's a completely different type of game. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if it just goes back to the old uh, Resident Evil 5, 6, uh, you know, bad bro-op shooter after oh, like God. a short segment in the house. Oh, I would laugh so hard. What's weird is the example of Code Veronica wasn't even a spin-off. That was just that was just a name that they they just stopped giving them numbers for a bit. Yeah. It goes like one, two, three Nemesis. We had a subtitle suddenly. Then Code Veronica X. I think it was Code Veronica then Code Veronica X or something like that. Or maybe that was the same game. Then then eventually goes back to just four, five, six. You're like, wait, what? But there was there was other you had other names for a bit there. Some okay. franchises will have a, a weird non-numbered sequel, but then they'll just count it as a sequel so that uh, so that the uh, next number goes up fittingly, like Mario Kart, like when we suddenly had a Mario Kart 8, but like the several other numbers were skipped along the way, because I don't think any of them had numbers ever. They just went from like Mario Kart to like Mario Kart 64 and stuff like that. Then you have oh. the, the other side where... Uh, where Assassin's Creed will just arbitrarily be like, nah, this is three now. I, we know it's the sixth game, but it's three. <laughs> I I think, uh, well, for, for Assassin's Creed, it made a little bit more sense because at that point they were counting characters. You know, it was Altair, Ezio, Connor. And then, like, that's when they started, like, doing the weird side hops with new characters for other games. It got really confusing. Yes. Because then the next game took place in the same setting, but had a different character, and it, and it was called 4. But at the same time, a game came out with 3 that had, was the same setting, but a different character, but it was called 3 Liberation. Yeah. So they broke their own rules almost immediately, and then they just called them Unity, and Rogue, and whatever victory came out. Uh, Syndicate, I think, as it was called. Yep. So they just dumped subtitle. They dumped the number almost immediately after the after they had ruined two and made things confusing and weird. I don't... I never paid attention. We tried... We tried so hard to play a Assassin's Creed game for the 4th of July this past <laughs> year, and it just... It was such a mistake. We didn't get to gameplay until we were, like, four hours in and sick of the game. It was awful. They are their agonizingly slow-paced games where the prologue is as long as some other games. It's it's built for those crowds that are like duration equals value in video games. It's longer, that means it's better. But we're gonna have we're gonna watch our main character literally get born. <laughs> and then we're gonna slowly go through childhood years, and then they get slightly downtrodden and they become a they become an assassin. But not a good assassin, so now you gotta spend 12 hours training your assassin, and then eventually the story will start. <laughs> they made those games every year, so it's not like there was like tastefully and carefully paced, slow paced gameplay. It was like mass produced, rapid fire gameplay where they keep making another one every year, so not like that much thought's being put into it. Alright, uh, are you ready to go? I think so. Uh. I guess we might as well do the keep me posted one. Anything we haven't done yet, yeah. Uh, Deliver uh, mail to the retired but legendary General Custard. I think we're supposed to have... Um, I think we're supposed to have the cupcake quest still. But I guess we cycled past that. Well, I guess we can finish this and then go from there. Uh, well, I think I think just every time we open a lobby, wait, it just randomizes the quest? the quest again. Uh, go back in. Well, <laughs> did it get it? Maybe got unselected. Okay. Let's see here. That's what uh, happened. Yeah, we must have both selected it we at both the same time. on it and then just went for it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. A plus gamers. We Yay! Did it. Now we know where we're going. We do the video game so hard and good. Or risky, you'll level up one day. I believe in you. Hey, you leveled up once last time. Yeah. That counts. 
I want you there to. There are a lot of units around there, here. There are. They are They're angry at us. Waffle cone. Oh, nope. Got to go the other way around. the switch? Uh, I don't know. the switch to make a Actually. shortcut? Uh, you know we could go around to it. Uh, you want to shoot that lady with the dynamite? Wait, she has dynamite for a weapon. I actually yep. kind of would get that. Huh. What have we done? We hit the switch. What have we done? Nintendo! Hi, is this the home of General Custard? What? What was that? Don't you recognize a respected war hero? Well, no, but I've got some mail for you. Ah, I see how it is. You you think a mere postal worker can breach my defenses. Hey, we do a lot more than deliver mail. Oh yeah? Let's see what you can do. Come at you, me, you paper pushers. Well. Yep. Gone crazy. Oh my god, he's got an army. That was yes. not covered in the cutscene. <laughs> By the way, I switched up my team. Oh yeah? What'd you do? Oh my god. <laughs> Why how though? Do you, how do you like hair trolls? I don't know. I just realized I had three of them and I was like, yes? <laughs> <laughs> if you can make me bleed, I'll call it quits. But you're right. a robot. I mean, not a robot, but you're a cupcake. You don't bleed. Oh my god, I forgot I'm on my dynamite throwing raptor head. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. It's my favorite thing. Okay, oh, according to chat, me. if we hit all three switches, buttons, hidden statue buttons, or whatever, we unlock a secret area. Oh, yeah? Good, Good to know. I'm shooting dynamite with a bow somehow. <laughs> hey. Er. It works. Damage dealt. Wow, 30 in the first turn with the unicorn. Yeah, it uh, it crit for 19. Damn. Yeah. Custard, why? Why must we fight? Why cannot we love? Okay. I'm gonna just smack him around. I'm probably gonna switch away from the hair troll. I. Uh, Super combo after this. I just feel want to comically be... throw people around every mission and not be able to control what's happening. I mean, <laughs> they're great tanks. Oh, yeah, because they self heal. Yeah, it's kind of awesome, but they don't have the AoE that the uh, that boss has, so it's kind of like eh, not quite what I'm going for. Gotta fend off these melee characters that are seeping through. I'll let you do go. that. I'm gonna see if I can make uh, General Custard bleed. We what, might just kill him. Bleed. Oh god. I assume we I... just. I assume we just kill him. Uh. Well, no. There's actually a bleed effect in this game. Oh, literally make him bleed. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Th that'd be awkward. This... I don't know if any of my characters are equipped to do such a thing. This might take a try or two. Well, Shiite. Well, let's see if we can just kill him and call that close enough. Yeah. I mean, he's he's within range of all three of my hair trolls, so. Well, butter my crumpet, you win this time. Don't suppose you still have my mail? Blood all over these. Oh, a letter from my mother. We literally just had to hit him, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Do we choose to leave now, gaining all the quest spoils? No. No. We choose to kill. <laughs> oh, he's gone. He's gone, though. So yeah. we, we can't deliver his mail, then murder him. No, we just have to kill all of his friends, including that giant that fights with a, with teeth. Yeah. That's the most horrifying weapon in the game, right? Um, It definitely really ranks up there. Really uncomfortable. Don't like it. My unicorn is under threat. I don't like it. It's actually like a problem it, for me right now. Judging by its face bits. Oh, I moved the wrong character. Whoops. Well. Well. <laughs> Those unicorn horns are weirdly inconsistent when the, when they go off. I wish oh, kind yeah. of we could almost see the timer for them, as the purveyor of unicorn horns. Okay, let's kill that cupcake. Okay. So appar apparently cupcakes self-regenerate over time. Oh, they do? Yeah, Kill which is the yes. entire reason why they make sense as a character, apparently, is they heal people using their own health, but then they also heal themselves over time. 
Okay. Which is confusing. Seems like you might as well just have them just heal normally and not make it really weirdly confusing. The alternative Somebody... is just a team full of hair trolls. Yeah. Somebody had to point it out and they were less than kind. <laughs> I love those people. <laughs> I'm going to provide useful information, but I'm going to be a dick about it. Because I can't just accept that somebody doesn't know a thing in a game that doesn't use words. <laughs> yeah, has <laughs> no like, like, explicit mechanics. Yeah, they're like, the diagram clearly states, I'm like, a diagram? So it's a sketch? Bet your RPG mechanics. We were too busy okay. looking at the be creepy Bishonen face to give any <laughs> dams about a diagram of any variety. But I'm gonna come help. One thing I do There's like a, about the hair trolls I, I is I have their have, entire army on me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll come help a Wait, little bit more. Wait, did my characters not change places? What? Wait, what did I do wrong? Oh. I did something wrong, I guess. Well, they've suddenly... They've been attracted by my flowery, uh, flowery goodness. So, consider yourself mildly rescued. Damn you, moderately frustrating control scheme! <laughs> Yeah, the, the, uh, the, the way that your movement is conveyed doesn't mix well with having a yeah. formation of characters where the two people or two people are switching places and stuff like that. Yeah. You get overlapping arrows and you can't tell where the arrows are coming from and the noise of the visuals. Clearly Thanks. you should just switch out half your party with uh, spiders. Uh, yeah, right after I get one of them. Spiders <laughs> and uh, just go with mounted combat the Double entire way through. Yes. Probably go do something about that unicorn. Just unicorns mounted on spy doors. I don't know if you can mount monsters on. On. Then I don't want to live in this world anymore. I. Okay. <laughs> oh. Wow. That... Okay. So I figured out how we made uh, custard bleed. All you have to do is drop them on spikes, and that does oh, did it. You, kn you knocked them on the spikes. I think I did. Because I just oh. walked on it and my guy started bleeding for a round. I assume we just had to hit him. I don't know. I almost killed him, so... I'm glad it worked out. And there he goes. Oh, wow. That was not a... That was, that was a not a happy time. You no. exploded a unicorn into a blood geyser. He was... That face beforehand, though. It was not pleased with the re results. I accidentally got MVP on my Raptor because they got they tanked so hard they died <laughs> completely on accident because they weren't supposed to be a melee character. I just couldn't get them off me. Cupcakes are selfless. Okay, we're gonna fight this lady. Hi, lady. She has a we're stick of dynamite you. for a sword, which <laughs> means yes. And I, and you must have it. Well, I mean. You know how, like, boss has that big nuke weapon? If I could get another one of those, that'd be good stuff. Yeah, we could have done with a heal, though. Yeah, probably could have. I actually didn't realize you were as bad off as you I'm, were. Yeah, my entire party is hurt and I lost a character. That's okay. I... We should be fine. Worst comes to worst, we just this run away. This cheesy-ass song. I like it. Sounds like something I would hear in, like, an 80s, uh, like, sitcom coming-of-age story. Oh wow, these guys are extremely, extremely weak. Like, I just flipped somebody and did half their health and damage. I'm being forked. People in chat are complaining that I don't have female mods. I got female mods. Keith, do you ever look hey. at your, uh, at your, like, gender demographics and be like, Man, my audience is very singularly one gender. <laughs> it, it it does lead heavily in one direction. I I was looking at uh, I was looking at an old post on the Let's Play subreddit where I was, where I think Mari was doing her like whole like female Let's Play uh, demographics thing, and I looked at mine again, and I was like. I have 94% viewership as dudes. Wow. I There's nothing I could do to actually fix that, I think. No, it just kind of happens on its own. Yeah. Wow, that is... 
That's some unique voice acting. I like that actually. Did, that, those did were, you hear that? So yeah, like my precious moment sort of happened there for a bit. It was creepy. Bad touch time. Yeah, I'm not not doing so hot. Oh, that's part of the problem. Why? Oh, are you standing I on fire? I, no, I have troubles with divided fronts like this because my characters shoot the wrong group. Oh, you mean your archers like, are You'll specifically... be off fighting in some other direction and my higher damage dealers will be shooting your guys instead of mine on a regular basis. Oh. I have no control over that because this game doesn't let you control your own characters. <laughs> uh, That's a tad frustrating. I'll be done with this side fairly quickly, I think. Uh, it looks like you're also hey, getting some level ups. Level ups. It's almost like having a healer. <laughs> but like more of like an occultist from Darkest Dungeon type healer. Where you never know when it's gonna actually work. I... I definitely started, uh... Leaning on them a little bit heavily back when I played that game. That was a mistake. They do not... They, they, they like to wait to the perfect moment to betray you. And then just fail to heal you for like five consecutive turns as your as your team decays. <laughs> eh, I never really had that big of a trouble with it. My biggest issue was the uh, the lady with the cauldron just insta murdered one of my guys, and I was like, this isn't this is kind of the worst. Goodbye, my entire party. It was nice knowing you. It's okay. <laughs> my hair trolls are are coming to uh, help mop up. I I have to say the hair the hair troll supremacy is working pretty dang well. I think I've gained health over the course of this fight. I wonder if you can put a buffer with your I wonder if you can put a mascot with your healer and have that lead to more healing. Uh that be cool. Question. It's one of those things that'd be really useful information for, but the game gives you no information, no, so you have to yes. guess <laughs> and make all your tactics based on guesses. It's unfortunate. I wonder if there's a wiki here for this game that's like really, really nice and useful. That'd be good to find. Uh, let's see, where am I? What am I doing? Why is this archer still alive? <laughs> so, uh, did you kill the unicorn all the way over so here? Radical. That doesn't look like it. Okay. Shell was frantically know? trying to write a note to me about Come United Airlines, yes. so apparently maybe one of their planes just went down and she was worried about it. Yeah, uh... Fairly well, Horatio. Oh, I see. They granted all their planes. Well, that would have been inconvenient. Luckily, no. American Airlines. Complete garbage. But at least they fly. I should make, like, uh, taglines for businesses. I'd be good at it. Completely grounded, but at least they fly? No, 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 no. No. What? Is that uh, what you said? <laughs> United Airlines grounded all of their planes, for whatever reason. Uh, I guess there was some kind of issue that they have to deal with. But uh, we're flying out what tomorrow is, to why Stainless. Why is it sparkling? That's a quest. That's the guy with the uh, swordfish stuck in him? Oh, right. That quest, <laughs> yeah. We uh, see it sitting around like that. <laughs> but, uh, so Shell was worried that our, our plane would have been surprise grounded. But... But no. But the then sword. I was like, what the jagged? <laughs> what the heck is? Or it's like a bottle like, opener. Uh, like a bottle yeah. opener rook sword. I got meat hooks. The person cleaner. <laughs> Volleyball. Just a, just a giant mace-sized toothbrush. Hey. I'm uncomfortable with this. <laughs> what? Hey, that's a uh, that's a regular human mace. You should um. Not. <laughs> You should you should totally give it to Pipistrella, or somebody else. Okay. Uh, There's nothing regular about that mace idea. I'm actually halfway tempted to just go with the hair troll supremacy for a while. Yeah. Oh, please let me put this on the hair troll. I'm gonna take out Damn Sophia. It. Okay. Bringing bringing gluten. Or gluten with their zero zero KOs. <laughs> if only it was possible. Oh wow, this is not a helmet that I can wear. 
I thought I found a cool hat, but no, it's actually the heaviest of helmets. Well, that's unfortunate. What if I made Risky the Rainbow Horse my hero? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it might work. He gets a damage bonus from it. Yeah. That could be uh, terrifying. <laughs> the other thing you can, you might be able to do is actually make your cupcake a hero. Uh, see if he gets extra healing from it. Could be. Got 11 now. Oh yeah, he gets more healing. Goes from 11 to 14 and he gets an extra movement. Might not be a terrible idea. Yeah, that actually... He could be. He could maybe suddenly become, become like really good at healing. That'd be good news. Does this affect stats at all? No. Well, it's worth a shot. See what the hell happens. That'll be weird. Oh! Right, making Horatio the heal, not the hero affects with uh, stats. Kind of amusing. Uh, oh, hey, see. the thief from Castle Crashers. Yep. Um, I guess I'll go with this. Do you guys have any? Eh, let's go with the chairs. Okay. People wanted me to mix up my party. I'm mixing up my party. Except for boss. He'll stick around. Okay, there we go. I am good to go. This is probably going to be an issue. Some of these designs okay. just are... The, the sword designs are great, where they just randomly are like, let's just make it random shapes, whatever. <laughs> One of them is just a straight sword, but it zigzags for no reason midway through. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the red coats are coming. Deliver mail to the cyber colonists of freeware. Wow, okay. that is a um. That's a that's a name. Those are that's a series a, of names. That's a, that's a tag for a, a quest. By the way, look I, at my I, look at my team lineup. Yeah, I saw Zombos. All over I have the place. Two sets of zombos and some goblins. I need to go catch some more zombies. Uh, no, we're not how doing this one. Dare you. We've already done that one. I thought I could get past. It didn't work. Hello, friends. When the world shattered, time was experienced in turns. <laughs> now we have an in, in, in engine exploration. Uh, ah, at last! Tis the conscripts we requested! He meant us, didn't he? Why can't he just we just deliver some mail? I know, right? Postmaning it's hard. So I just really wording. hesitate on that weird, crazy what the fuck word that happened in the middle of that. Look over yonder, conscripts. Our oppressors approach. The red coats. Can you dress it up? These automatons desire the township of freeware. We desire the township of freeware. Prepare to be oppressed. See, this cannot be born for the freedom of freeware. When we started talking, I was like, "All right, just give me a second to launch Microsoft Sam." <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Does that even this exist is, anymore? This is a bad time for me to uh, have Paint brought characters abruptly and just well, find out what happens. Uh, I was more thinking of this is a bad time for me to have brought the largest team I could possibly scrounge. Oh, to try to, like, squish them through these tunnels and everything? <laughs> well, I mean, it's a big battle, so this is gonna be a mess. At least I got Boss, who should be able to hold his own for a while. Alright, that's how I zoom out. Perfect. There we go. More or less got a configuration that makes sense. All my characters have unique symbols now, because they're all different characters. Hey! I actually really something, like this at least. music. Oh, I have to press space. There we go. I was <laughs> forgetting something there. Zombie sharks, no! The day of reckoning has come. Wait, some of those are on... Wait. Are there a bunch of random allies back there that are yes. not controlled by us? Yes, we also have NPC helping. A NPCs Weird. helping us up. They're yeah. like as many of them as us. Yeah. This is a big fight then. I know, Jeez. that's that's why I was talking about the whole, like, uh... Uh, me bringing a lot of people might not have actually been a wise decision. 
got to live. Just got to live with it. Yep. Well, I'm just gonna try to form a front line with my nice healer behind them, and it's actually hope a good things spot work for out. it. Yeah. Yeah. I found the uh, one. They might be able to one scoot. Can hold they might be able to scoot down and around, though. That's the one. Yeah. Oh yeah, they, they certainly will. I'm hoping they come up my direction, because I've got a lot of surface area to cover. <laughs> oh hi. Wait, there's another way. If you'd only read my book, Code Smithing for Lackwitz. Go fly a kite, Benjamina! We got wars to do! Fine, don't blame me if you all get short circuited. How many characters are there in this quest? Uh, apparently enough. They're, they're all original art, too. Uh, <laughs> this is. This is, um. This is one of their side. Uh, their first side quests. Uh, or the, this is their most recent side quest, sorry. Uh, they have, uh, they made those, the, the pooping one, the cupcake one, the fire burning one, and so on and so forth. They did all of that, um, uh, like, for the beta. This is a completely new quest chain that they've put together. So, it kind of makes sense that they'd have a little bit extra quality, because they've definitely had more practice along the way. Yeah. Is my unicorn not shooting at all? Uh, it might have just been hitting people. Like, if- He had no if damage it... on him. Oh. I don't know. That's weird, yeah. He's got no blue number to indicate that he's attacking. That's weird. Well, my allies are showing up, so they'll hopefully close off the gap that these enemies are exploiting to hit me, because I'm actually taking hits now, unfortunately. Hopefully the addition of a healer will help a bit. I did, I did not realize I was playing. <laughs> I had this dumb moment of staring at it like, I wonder what's going to happen. <laughs> ah, shit. Hmm. Well, this will be interesting. Sometimes controlling this game is an adventure and it's to itself. Yeah, I was trying to figure out, you know what, if... Oh, wait, no, I guess there's a chevron that goes above your character's head. I really could not find that immediately. There's a chevron over their heads? Yeah, it's like a little blue... I guess it's more of like a... Is uh, it an infrared? <laughs> the screen's it's so a, busy. It's a random... Is it a trapezoid? I don't know, whatever. It's got a distinct advantage to a game like XCOM having like desaturated colors, but then having really bright interface and highlighting colors. So it stands out. Yeah. Nothing stands out on the screen right oh, now. Oh man, I uh, I actually had that happen with um. So I was playing uh my newest uh, Fallout challenge uh, last night, and um, I have this really cool shader on that makes everything. Uh, grayscale, like Sin City style. It looks awesome. With the exception of my poor colorblind audience members were like, we can't see anything that's going on with like your interface, because my health was red, my my AP meter was red, and they're just like, this is this is torture. Oops. Well. Yep. It's okay. I also somehow bugged it out, so all of the guns did no damage. So I have to start over tonight. Because I spent like half an hour running around being like, I'm immortal! It seems to be working out. My health well, is like really s static at the moment. I'm doing team. terribly, but that's because... You gotta get a cupcake for your army. A bunch army of cupcake. level 1 zombies are not exactly what I call um, a, an effective... I've, my front line's falling. No. Ratio Y. Crap. Oh, is Ratio about to die? No, it's knockback. Oh, oh, yeah, the big guys. Yeah, that just devastates att attempts to uh, create like a siege situation. <laughs> well, at least the uh, at oh least yeah, the they're firing now. Yeah. I, I think the Boom. unicorn was actually helping me the entire time, and you just didn't see it. No, what was weird is he didn't have a blue number. 
Oh. For like several turns, as far as I could tell, he didn't have a blue number. I'm like, what he is he doing missed. every turn? That is also possible. Soon Horatio will be able to move again. So I was going to have a weak spot down here on the bottom, but then all of these random guys just kind of came in and saved me. And so I didn't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> That's convenient. Now I've just got this giant buff circle just ruining everything. Oh, there's like a maximum range. Okay. There we go. Maximum range for what? Uh, there's a, there's a, or there's like a min-max range for, uh, using... Yeah. So, uh, gnomes can, uh, gnomes can throw units around. Kill, um, yes. but... Oh, Quadra yeah. kill. Penta oh. kill. Die, 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 die! <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a new Got one. Murder. <laughs> Haven't heard that one yet. <laughs> Wait, he said Cinco de Murder on yours? Because yeah. on mine, he just started shouting, die, 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 over and over oh. and over again. Yeah, Sounds like me, you got we, the we, better deal. Yeah, all his things joke considered. for Pentakill was Cinco de Murder, and that's great. That great is actually one. pretty good. <laughs> and you know he sounded into it. Yeah, this is this is this tide's turning pretty quickly. We're pretty set. Well, and yeah. I we outnumbered them drastically. I wouldn't be surprised if this mission always has this number of units, uh, single or multiplayer, and uh, they just haven't balanced it yet for multiple people. The idea that anything's not balanced for multiplayer sounds like a weird concept, just because the game is advertised first and foremost as a co-op game. Yeah. I don't know. I could be totally wrong here. It just kind of felt like it. Double kill, yes. Hey. I think or if murder. if any other game had this kind of music, I think I'd hate it. But here, I'm kind of pretty okay with it. This music playing during a uh, Witcher Three. <laughs> okay. I would like that for the comedy element, but it would probably be really bad. <laughs> this music for Outlast or Condemned. That'd be. Oh, or what am I, oh God, I know the worst one. Uh, looking oh? at the looking at the schedule of games I'm playing. Uh, this music for Shadow Tactics. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, for the final Hell level, yes. just this like jovial. Triple kill, yes. And every time you quick save and quick load, the music cuts and loops over and over again and stuff. <laughs> uh, oh dear, look at the time. Oh. They killed General oh. Rush a lot. What? Fire in your metallic tyranny. I thought my nose at your imperialist cat chassis. So were they were they just standing there just for that scripted murder to happen at the end of the yes. game? Weird. Wait, hold on. We just walked can... into a war that we know nothing about. I can catch this guy maybe. Is he the last enemy? Yeah. Oh yeah. Alright. I'll just see stand can... here. Yeah, see if you can distract your archers. And Oh, he blocked it. Okay. Just depends on that one NPC unit. Can he kill him in time? Okay. Go for it. Nab Trying. Him. Trying. There we go. He is to be nabbed. I like his hat and his toothbrush. I mean, this is if you can, if you want to move your entire team in a general direction, you can just highlight that general direction and rapid click six times, and yeah. they'll just go that way. Yeah, I was just, doing that earlier. Kind of, they kind of auto path. That's yep. weird. How to build a better cyclops. Start with a man. Add another man. Add 80 gallons of protein. Ask patients help to pop an eye out. Oh, ask parents help. <laughs> you. Wow, so much for General Rushlots getting his mail. He'll never he'll never get these five percent off gas pass coupons. Yeah, but at least freeware is still standing. Still, I wonder if this was the last we'll see of those robots. This was not the last you will see of us. Okay, thanks for clarifying. <laughs> We're having a weird I, day. It is yeah. <laughs> 